you had a wonderful weekend. We had a pretty good weekend. Um, it was nice and busy, which was really awesome. Um, but yeah, so today is Sunday and I have really missed daily vlogging actually. I told Caleb that it feels weird to go um, a couple days without talking to the camera. So I am glad that I get to do it again. Um, but I figured I would be kind of transparent with you guys and honest with kind of what has been going on with me. Um, seeing as we try to make this channel as real as possible um, so that other people can kind of get a better understanding of what infertility is like and everything. Um, so with that comes, as you saw in one of the recent videos, um, the desire or the kind of stress of wanting to test and wanting to kind of test early and find out results before your actual blood test. So I did actually cave and I did actually test yesterday, Saturday, and I was 10 days past three day transfer um, and I did, I caved and I tested. Um, so I'm going to in input that footage um, of yesterday right here. Okay. I am uh, 10 days past three day transfer. Yep. And because it's Saturday and we're home together, Caleb is allowing me to test. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I feel like I need to. I don't know why. I just feel like I should. Well, hopefully it's the right decision. Yeah. I gotta remember though that if it's negative, it doesn't mean it's over. If it's positive, like. It doesn't mean it's you just gotta yeah either, you just gotta right? so. still wait for the beta so I have a clear view and I'm good to gonna do it I have my first morning urine over there <laughs> <laughs> in a cup and I'm gonna dip it in so we're going to dip it in now lay it flat and then we're gonna come back. Oh. Let's go take a look. I'm so scared. This has never turned out well for me, ever. It's like, oh. I'm like already scared. I don't know if I want to. Like, I kind of just want to be unaware. I know. Are you ready? Yeah. I mean, okay, if it's negative, it's okay. It doesn't mean that it's over. Yes. It doesn't mean that doesn't it's mean over. that's over. There's still many There's days still until our beta. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Don't look. Okay. Just wait. Just wait. I think I see something, but that's just because I always think I see something. I don't actually. It's definitely not. If it is anything, it's so faint. It's, I don't know, like, sometimes your eyes play tricks on you because you want to see it, right? Yeah. I don't know, honey. Maybe, but I'm not definitive enough. And I know, like, with clear blues, you said that you don't like the blue dye as much as the red dye? The pink. Yeah. Pink dye. So as you can see, um, that kind of didn't go as we had hoped. Um, you know, it did look negative, and the kind of thing is that I'm not exactly sure whether, you know, to take that to heart or not. So obviously I was a little bit upset and kind of sad afterwards, but then I, I don't know, I kind of realized that the clear blue specifically isn't very accurate, especially when testing early. Um, I think it was like a 53% yeah, um, accuracy on the day that I tested. So I, you know, I tried to remember that that that's something to keep in mind, right? That that it might not be accurate. 
Um, and then also just that, you know, there's so many other factors like uh, maybe I tested too early, maybe the HCG hadn't built up enough, you know, I basically you can't give up until you have the beta. I heard a saying, you can't give up until the beta lady sings, and I thought that was funny. And as disappointed as I was yesterday, we had a long chat and we decided that it's best for my sanity to just not test, to just wait until the beta. We're gonna find out together. We have each other if we need to. Um, it can be the best day or it can be a very difficult day, but either way, we're just gonna wait because it was just, it was just too hard and you know, I don't know. It's just, maybe it's easier and better for my body to not be stressing every day, worrying about whether that test being negative actually meant something or whether it's wrong or you know, whatever. So, so yeah, that's the plan right now is just waiting till our beta and letting that be the pregnancy test and letting that be it. Um, yeah that's kind of the plan right now um, I'm really 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 hoping obviously that things are still looking good and that we will get the outcome that we want because that is literally all that we want in this life is to be pregnant and have babies and have children have a family um, so if you wouldn't mind I really strongly believe in the power of positive thinking and prayer and the positive vibes and energy that were put out um, when we got the positive results of our embryos lasting to freeze, I just know that a big part of that was you guys and your guys' thoughts for us. Whoa. <laughs> and so I was just hoping that maybe this time around you could also send that out in the universe and just kind of give us every positive vibe and energy you can and that would be really great because I just, like I want this so bad and I just want it to work so bad. So. Yeah, we would very much appreciate that and we would love that. So on another note, um, today, like I said, we tried to do things to get our mind off of it. So we went and found a river and we went swimming with Ellie and it was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, so that is going to be the rest of the video is just from our adventure today. So I hope you enjoy it and we will see you next time. All right, Ellie, <laughs> time to go swimming. <laughs> has a handle. He can swim though. <laughs> it's probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh my gosh. She doesn't even know how to move. She's like stuck. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's doing it. <gasps> She's doing it, Kayla. Oh my gosh. Look at her go. Oh, good girl. Come on. Swim, 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 swim. Just be close by in case she needs help. Good girl. Good job. Yay! Can you hear her breathing? Yes.